Little Ford has had a STEM program for, this is going on eight years. I feel like the impact of this is something that is extraordinary. Next Wave STEM contacted me. They have their own curriculum and their own strands, and the kids were interested into learning about drones and 3D printing. Once we were trained, we had 12 drones sent to our school and two 3D printers that the students actually had to build first before they learned how to use them. It's just a great exposure for everything that STEM has to offer and we don't have time to do during the day. answer is yes because 3D printing and drones, I usually don't do that stuff at my own house. My favorite part about STEM club is probably the drones. My favorite thing to do with the drone is probably I really like the flips. So at first we were just like raising it and lowering it and flying it around the room. And then I was able to start doing like more complicated stuff, like flying. There was a course that, like, we flew it through a bunch of hula hoops out in the hallway, and then we were able to start working on the like flips. Me and my friend are making a TV show live action. We're saving up for good video drones that we can use to fly around. So that might be a I might be able to get better at drones with that. I prefer 3D printing. You could just make like anything and like it's, it's really cool. What we had to do is like make this like toy, this thing called like the Terra Tusk. It's like a made up animal that we made and it's like its body was made out of glass. It had like through four, four legs and then like big tusks. We had to like go into this little design software thingy so then like we could like piece by piece and make like the thing and then we had a 3D print it using our 3D printers over there. And after that, for the entrepreneur project, we had to like price it. It's $7.49. I would tell their students that STEM club is really fun and I wish they could join. It's the best club ever. I really like flying drones and here we have bigger ones that actually video and 3D printing, I've always thought it was really cool and we, you can make different stuff you normally would have to buy, but you could just make it. They're learning problem solving, they're learning critical thinking, they're learning to work with their peers that they may not often have the opportunity to do so. And it teaches a good perseverance because oftentimes things don't quite work out the way that we wanted to or we have to have patience, we have to go back and figure things out. And so I think that to prepare kids for the future, this program is going to assist them in doing that. And it looks a lot different than a traditional classroom. There's a lot of movement, there's a lot of sound. Check out what I did, you know, so we get some immediate reinforcement, but the kids also have the opportunity to do a lot of learning through exploration. Kids absolutely love it. These are fifth graders that are moving on to middle school next year. And so it has also generated a lot of interest with our younger students. Um, and so we're looking to continue to build this program until we're able to offer it to as many students as we can.